Hello and welcome. Today's video is on Carnifexes. It's, it's a date card review and as usual if you like my content on this video you like to press the like button it helps with the algorithm. If you like my content subscribe hit the bell button to stay up to date with everything and comment interaction with you guys I like to I, I'd like to learn the two and it's a bit better. I, it's not a, one I, I've used a lot. I'm still learning them. Uh, and it's good to know how, what you guys think. So, Carnifexes, or distraction Carnifexes as they used to be called. Uh, movement 8, toughness 9, 2 plus, so 8, leadership 8, and they're 3 OC. You've got a range of weapons, uh, but it comes with uh, the siren talons and the extra talons, chitinous claws, and you can have two in a unit. And they, you can change with a full just litters with slime and maggots, Dow devours with bre breach rounds, heavy venom cannon, strangle form cannon, can affect crashing claws, or So, so you've got options there. So the fire plasma is an assault blast, 12 inch range, D3, 4 blast ballistic skills, strength 7, minus 2, 1. Death that is 24 inch range, 6 attacks, same uh, att strength, AP and damage. The devourers with bone reach is an 18 inch, 12 attacks, same ballistic skill, strength 6, no AP, damage 1. A heavy venom cannon, 36 inch range, D3, 4 plus, strength 9, minus 2, 3, three damage. Spine banks, assault, 6 inches, 5 attacks, hitting on 4, strength 5, no AP, damage 1. And a strangle form cannon, which is blast, 36 inches, D6 plus 1, strength 7, minus 1, 2. Can't affect crushing claws. Four attacks, hitting on pause, strength 12, minus 3, d6 plus 1, can't affect extra siding talons, which is the extra attacks, two attacks, hitting on pause, strength 9, minus 2, 3 damage, can't affect siding talons, six attacks, strength, uh, weapon skill 4, strength 9, minus 2, 3 damage, Chitinous claws, four attacks, four plus six, zero, one. Mm. Deadly demise, blistering assault. Each time an enemy unit is selected to shoot, after that unit has shot, if any models from this unit lost one or more wounds as a result of these attacks, this unit can make a blistering assault move. If it does, roll one D6, seven, two, three. Result. Each model in this unit can be moved a distance two inches up to the result. But this unit must finish that move as close as possible to the closest enemy unit. When doing so, those models can be moved within engagement range of the enemy unit. Each unit can only make one blistering assault move per phase. So that's pretty cool. It gets you closer to the enemy. And you could get into assault phase here it stops them charging and giving them many buffs and it stops you being shot by other units as well so very possibly so I like that again there's something I might try out uh, a little sneaky tactic uh, we'll see I'll, I'll have to look at, the, uh, at what I can build build uh, uh, the detachments and that and see see where, where I'll go with, with the list with them in it let me know what you think in the comments below and remember thank you for watching if you have been have enjoyed please hit the like button press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed remember everybody knows the dice are loaded